Skvortsov manually fly the Soyuz MS-13 from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. He will back away from uh, that docking port to a distance of about 38 meters. Uh, he'll station keep. He'll uh, perform a roll program uh, to rotate uh, the Soyuz. Uh, the crew will be taking pictures of the aft port of the Zvezda service module to make sure it is free of any debris. Before uh, Skvortsov manually begins a translation uh, to the uh, zenith side of the International Space Station, where he will again station keep for a second time about 38 meters away from the Poisk module at the top side or the uh, space facing side of the Russian segment of the station before the green light is given by Russian flight controllers for Skvortsov to manually fly the Soyuz in for a docking to Poisk. Ready uh, to take a short ride away from Zvezda for a redocking to Poisk, this relocation uh, designed to accommodate uh, the return on Monday night of the Soyuz MS 14 unpiloted spacecraft. All three uh, crew members are uh, required uh, to be aboard the, the Soyuz vehicle for one of these ro relocation activities in the unlikely event they would be unable to redock to their new docking port and would have to. Uh, loiter in orbit until uh, the issue would be resolved or they would uh, be forced to return home. We did a command of 6400. Hooks open command has been sent, executed. Hooks closed. Uh, message is no longer illuminated. Going to top of page 82. Copy. Standing by for report that uh, mechanical uh, capture message is no longer illuminated on display. The Soyuz hooks now uh, driving open. And you're go to start physical separation in manual mode on time. Copy. Standing by for physical separation now of the Soyuz from the aft port of the Zvezda service module and the start of a 24 minute relocation procedure. Physical separation confirmed. The Soyuz has undocked, undocking occurring on time at 10.35 and 30 seconds p.m. Central Time as the International Space Station flew over southeastern Algeria. Now flying into an orbital sunrise. Kinda hard to tell. So you can see the Soyuz backing away ever so slowly at the, uh, almost at the middle of your picture here. On the left is the Poisk module that will be the eventual destination for the MS-13 vehicle a short time from now. Uh, yes, that's R-8 command. Uh, 8 command, AGC mode uh, has done the trick. The docking interface is clear of any pod. Uh, let's go to Rodeka. L1, activating stabilization. Luca, can you confirm uh, we're in Rodeka mode? Yep. We're in digital. Copy. Rodeka mode confirmed. And activating translation of hand controller. Alexander Skvortsov, Luka Parmitano, and Drew Morgan getting a bonus ride on their Soyuz MS-13 spacecraft as it slowly backs away from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. And I'm uh, going to get the target in the center.
This view now from uh, Soyuz MS-13 telemetry, looking right down the barrel of the uh, Zvezda service module docking port. Copy that, Alexander. Station keeping. Copy. And the brakes are on. Station keeping has begun. Station keeping confirmed. Roll maneuver in progress. I have a very good uh, visual on MRM2. And uh, the current range is about 30 meters. Copy. Roll maneuver is complete, and we are ready to uh, start probe extension. Copy. Probe extension command has been sent. Range is 32 meters, and I'm starting to fly around. Copy. I have a great uh, stable visual of the target. Everything's nominal. I copy that, Alexander. Thank you. Spectacular view of the Soyuz MS-13 beginning its fly around under the control of uh, Alexander Skvortsov, the Soyuz commander. This view uh, over Russian ground stations uh, showing uh, the view from the Soyuz spacecraft as it uh, has initiated the fly around under the control of Alexander Skvortsov. And this view uh, showing the crosshair engineering camera on the Soyuz MS-13, uh, almost in the center of the crosshairs, the docking port on the Poisk module. Skvortsov reporting a good visual on uh, the docking port itself to Poisk as he fine-tunes uh, the orientation of the Soyuz. There'll be another period of uh, station keeping here momentarily before he presses in for final approach and docking. Left 5, command in work. 06-53-22, 5, command has been sent. Range is uh, 32 meters. And we're starti starting the um, final approach, accelerating towards the station. Copy that, Alexander. Getting ready for station keeping. Copy.
location keeping confirmed. Copy. Pressers are aligned. The target is uh, practically dead in the center. One more opportunity for station keeping uh, to make sure that we have a uh, precise alignment between uh, the Soyuz and Poisk at the bottom of your screen. Skvortsov will reinitiate the final approach uh, for docking a moment or two from now. Copy. And now pressing in again. Closing in. Copy. Standing by for contact. Standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Standing by for contact, Moscow. We copy. Standing by, Alexander. Contact. Contact confirmed. And capture confirmed. Docking right on time at 10.59 p.m. Central Time, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time as the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-13 flew just to the east of Beijing. The relocation successful under the control of Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov, a new docking port now for one of the two Soyuzes at the International Space Station. Translational Hand Controller, V-8 command, in work. And, and the docking probe has now begun to retract. 